This is the alley of the baobabs. Hands down, my favorite tree. And although you can see a particular species in mainland Africa and another in Australia, this is the motherland of the baobab, with six original species to choose from, these being the tallest. So I'd say Madagascar is the best place in the world to see them. But I don't want to just stand here and look. Obviously, you can't climb them because there's nothing to grab onto, but I'm going to harness up and finally get to see one from the top. First, I'm going to have to figure out this local climbing technique. Again, with the yodeling. Make sure I got this right, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So up. Stand up. Oh, OK. I have gotten four feet off the ground, and I'm already exhausted. Did I mention I don't know what I'm doing? But after a quick look at my climbing partner's feet, I think I've figured out the problem. Well, what am I doing with shoes on? All right. Not to say I'm going to get up the tree any faster now. I'm just a little more confident I may actually make it. There's an old legend that says, these trees were actually uprooted, turned over, and stuffed back in the ground, which is why they kind of look like the roots are what shoot up to the sky. And I've always wanted to climb one of these trees. Now I'm finally going to get a look from the top of one, or according to the legend, the bottom. Either way. This is very, very cool. Oh, welcome in the top to bulb up. Uh, you live up here? <laughs> Woo! Nice! I don't know how they say it in Madagascar, but back in the 80s we said it that this is bitchin'. Yeah! <laughs> wow. While we're on the subject of spooky in Madagascar, dangling from the top of a baobab is uh, definitely spooky. I don't have much of a fear of heights, but uh, more of a fear of falling from great heights. OK, get yourself together. You got a show to do. So this is the top of a baobab tree. These things grow to 30 meters or so. They don't have any of the yearly growth rings, so you can't really decipher how old they are. Most agree they're at least 500 years old. More even say that they're in the thousands of years old. They survive such a climate because they really store a lot of water, and that's another reason why they've probably lasted so long, because the wood that they provide is so wet that there's really no reason to cut them down to use for building materials or fires or anything like that. Good view up here, too, man. Wow. <laughs> 